Hey guys, today we're doing something different. We're replacing the front suspension in my 120 series Prado with some nice Dobinson mono tube remote res shocks. I uh, got these from these guys on eBay, APC four wheel drive. Not sponsored, I paid full price for it. So probably cheaper if you were to buy the whole lot. I only need the fronts and I'll show you why in a sec. Uh, 50 mil, raised front pre-assembled struts and I got them in the 80 to 100 kilo upgraded spring to suit a steel bull bar dual batteries and a winch so hopefully the spring rate's right uh, cost me $1059 so probably cheaper if you were going to buy the whole lot you'd obviously get the whole set for slightly more than what you pay for them separately righto in the box we have Some specs from Dobinson, some Dobinson stickers, two adjusting spinners. Oh, pretty. They come pre assembled. Springs are in. Not sure what height they're set to. Nice remote reservoirs. So, one there. Ah. Reservoir mounts and associated bolts. Not too sure where they're gonna go. Find somewhere to mount those. Another one. Oh yeah. Sticker. And uh, another one. Yeet. They're very nice looking. Well made shock, made locally in Australia, down in Rockhampton I think it is, by Dobinson. Everything looks pretty solid. Right, let's get on with putting them on the car. So they're going in the front of my 120 series Prado, because these eBay ones I got, they're a King Spring which is pretty good, but the shock is a Anarchy 4x4 shock and they've lasted a couple of years but they are cactus. There is there is no shock dampening in them left at all. And they're squeaking pretty bad. So I'm due for tyres as well, so it's going over tyres tomorrow, getting some new uh Hankook Dyna Pro MTs. So good timing, do the front shocks and then get the wheel alignment all done at once. I didn't need the back springs because you can't really see it. In the back I've got Airbag Man airbags set in the back with the Kevlar sleeves and I don't really want to go through the process of changing those out so the springs are good, they're the right weight, they're king springs so they're not terrible. And I've already got all the airbags fitted with the, the lines that run up to the back here for towing the camper trailer so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to get the shocks only and replace these Anarchy 4x4 ones. They were right, they were super cheap. They were super cheap at the time. I can't remember, I think the whole lift kit was probably a thousand bucks. It was pretty cheap and it's done probably four or five years, so can't complain about that. You're gonna be getting the weight coat, aren't you? Okay, okay. The hoist would be nice. Remember to crack your wheel nuts before you get the wheels off the ground. Just crack them a little bit. I put my tyres under the side steps in case the car falls. Some freak chance it falls off. Keep the car off the ground so hopefully we can get a jack back under it to get the car back off the ground. Now figure out the minimal stuff I need to pull off to actually get these out. Might take the bottom bolt out, take the top nuts off the strut, and then see what else needs to come off. We may need to drop the caliper out of the way. So let's do that. 
for the CRC. This bolt down here. Hold this sword and shifter. Hold it still. I'm keen to see what this bottom bush looks like down in here because there's rubber coming out everywhere and it's been squeaking for a bit, so it's probably cactus. So while I was looking around in here, I just noticed that the brake pads are pretty much done, so may as well do them anyway while I'm in here. So may as well take the caliper off, which will be easier. I can take the caliper off, strap it out of the way up here, take this line off, gives me some more room, especially if I need to drop the upper ball joint to get some more room to get it out. And the sway bar was getting in the way pretty bad, so I just rattled the, uh, what's it called? Sway bar link rod out of there, and then just rattled off the two hoops underneath there with the rattle gun and sway bar is now over there out of the way and it took two minutes so yeah let's take the caliper off and then see if we're closer to getting the suspension out actually not the spanner electric ratchet The RIP to my electric ratchet. Where does that go? That might go back on. Oh, that's not good. Crack it first. If anybody from Ryobi ever watches this, I'm sure that wasn't intended use, but, and I didn't read the manual either, but, uh, he could send us a new skin for a uh, electric ratchet, that'd be nice. Oh, Will it still work? Good. Woohoo! Righto, easiest way to keep your brakes out of the way zip ties. Through here. Not off. Might leave it on there a couple of times and then I'll hit this to get that off. That you only a little bit because it should pop. There it is. Well bang and should get this fair way out of the way. So here's a comparison of the old shocks versus the new shocks. You know, spring technology doesn't look too much different. You get down to here, obviously fully adjustable and the remote res line but down here is where it gets interesting this is why i'm replacing these ones these bushes are just cactus the rubber was blowing out through the sides and it's it's all separated in the bottom there but just look at the girth difference on this massive looks like machine billet i guess versus whatever this shit is with some chinese weld on it so i know which one i'd be picking definitely get what you pay for <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna slot a new one in, see how it sits. No, 
that's on top. Back with that. Okay. Take two. Fucking heavy. Get that on the top to hold it. One. Two. Okay. And then. Start working the bottom end. Take the time to put some anti-seize on stuff. It seems the most difficult part of the assembly is figuring out where to put the reservoir. So I've got it sitting up in here, and then once I get the car back on the ground, I'll be able to route the hose so it's not rubbing on anything. Adjust that a little bit. It does come with some pictures of different installs. Unfortunately, it's only got the example of a Hilux. Not a Prado, but they should be pretty similar. So. Get everything buttoned back up, do the other side, and move on from there. Quick break for Smoko. Got a leftover beef brisket from Last night on the smoker, monster brisket, brioche rolls, got a bit of brisket, sweet baby rice, bit of honey barbecue, might go a bit of cheese. Whoa, a bit of coleslaw. What's up? Yes. Decent. Okay, all the suspensions back in. Most of the stuff's bolted back up, except for the sway bar, put that back on. Reservoir is mounted on this side as well. Just got to route the hose a bit neater and put some sheathing on it. Now, Change these brake pads out real quick. Get that one out. That one out. New Bendix Ultra Premium brake pads. Press the pistons back in. Put a well nut on here to hold this square. That. 12. Yep. <clears throat> These stubby ratchets are fantastic for getting into little spots. Cheap on eBay. eBay or Amazon, I think. Chuck a link below. Check them out. Not too bad. So now I just got to do the other side and then put the sway bar back on, wheels on, and put it on the ground. For the hose of the remote res is the hardest bit. Got it sitting in there pretty nicely, but there's a couple of rub points on the sway bar and on the chassis. So I've got some sheath. Try and put a piece on there. That one. Not perfect, but it'll do. Put a zip tie, maybe a zip tie there, see how that goes. Pretty neat. 
Okay. I'll just see how it goes once the tyres on and once it's back on the ground, but it looks pretty good. Everything's tight. Yeah, let's put the wheel on and get the car back on the ground, see how it looks like. So don't rattle your wheel nuts all the way up. Use a torque wrench set to the right. Newton meters a foot pound, I think these are about one to one ten newton meters. If you keep rattling them up, it fatigues your wheel studs. And then eventually they'll crack. I think it was a couple of years ago we did a trip, a thousand kilometers each way, towing a caravan. And then the next day after we got back, my wife was driving the car, and that three or four out of the six wheel studs snapped and the wheel almost came off the car. So it was lucky she wasn't driving fast on the highway and it was lucky it didn't happen the day before telling the caravan, so don't do it. Just do it more loosely and then talk about you. Oh, they're all done. Looks like it's sitting pretty high. I thought it'd be on the two inch setting. Maybe it'll settle down after I go for a strap around the block. But yeah, it looks pretty decent. All in there, hose is all connected up. Out of the way. New tyres tomorrow. But time to take it for a test drive around the block, see how it rides and whether it settles out a bit. Stay for a quick test drive. It does feel pretty good. You can feel it when you when you do a few flicks of the steering wheel. You can feel the the damping forces there a lot better compared to the old blown shocks. It'll be nice to see how it is once I put the back ones in. So I'll have to shop around and see if I can get back shocks only. Probably feel better after the wheel alignment tomorrow after getting the new tyres on, so pretty keen to see how that goes. Rods well, along nice and smooth. The squeaks going in the front. It's good. Yeah, around corners you can feel there's actually some pushback in the corner when it drives the body roll now, so very nice. Hopefully get the back set done in the next few weeks and then take it out for a forward off trip. <laughs>